Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Elliot, and I just really quickly wanted to talk about my new dance that I actually just created. Uh, one second. <laughs> I, I guess I should have. Okay, so it's February 27th, uh, and I created it yesterday. It's super late at night, uh, or early in the morning, however you want to look at it. It's 3.41, and uh, February 26th, I guess, I created my own line dance. Uh, it's to the Taylor Swift song, Red. Uh, and I really wanted to create a line dance for a couple of reasons. One, that's pretty much the next stage in becoming something in the line dance world. It's like making your own dance. Like, you can dance well and you'll be noticed at clubs and whatnot. But I mean, I think that like the next thing that you need to do is uh, is create a line dance and uh, and then like become a teacher and, you know, like go crazy. Uh, but I mean, you know, one step at a time, and I've just always wanted to create a line dance to take that extra step. Uh, I wanted to create a line dance so that I could call myself a choreographer and be in that realm of people who are all about step sheets. And you know what? You know, one day in, uh, and I kind of, I really understand why step sheets are so important to choreographers. Uh, because I can just imagine somebody like drastically changing my dance uh, <laughs> to like where it doesn't even look like it anymore or whatever. And uh, so I, I kind of wanted to do it for that reason. I always wanted to make a line dance just so I could do a cool name. And I, I'm going to title my, my dance Loving Me Is Red. Uh, and it's to the, yeah, it's to the Taylor Swift song Red. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, I hope you watch uh, this video. Uh, this is my demo through, and I haven't made a teach through yet, uh, but I just kind of wanted to explain my dance uh, really quickly. It's literally everything that, just different elements of either people or uh, moves in my entire line dance career that have become really special to me or that I really, really like. Uh, the lock steps uh, that it starts out with. Uh, my, I have a friend named Kristen, and she has a dance called Counting Stars, and I just thought it was like the coolest move. I've always known about you know like doing lock step forwards, uh, and uh, in other dances, I guess Redneck Angel has it, but it wasn't until I saw her dance to Counting Stars where she made it look really really cool, uh, and so I had to have that. Uh, the, uh, Sailor Step, I'm trying to, like, go through the dance in my head so I can talk about everything. Rock, triple back, triple back, uh, Sailor Step, Sailor with a turn, uh, the Sailor Step, uh, the back Sailor Step that I use to change walls is a, uh, saddle up move, and I just thought it was, like, the most mind-blowing thing when I was learning saddle up. Because uh, you always learn sailor steps like the same way, and coaster steps the same way, and triple steps the same way. And so, like, when they did a back sailor step, uh, it was just, or a turning sailor step, it was just like the coolest thing in the world to me. Uh, uh, the next count is a step out into a prep turn, and that prep turn I call the Rachel McGinnity prep turn. Uh, McEnany? I'm not actually sure how to say her name. She's the Bobby with an Eye lady. She's done a million other dances that I love. Uh, and she did the blurred line 64 count and uh, she does that prep turn in like a lot of her dancing maybe it's just like a dancer move but she makes it look really really cool uh, go watch this video uh, I think that was the first time I ever saw it uh, so it's a prep turn into a turn uh, into a second prep turn into a turn uh, and then you triple step out and then triple step forward uh, and then you do the Josie's funk move uh, which is point out, point out, uh, point, or quarter turn point, and then hitch. Uh, and that's definitely a hitch. It's not the weird Josie's funk, oh, it's a touch thing. No, it's definitely a hitch. Because uh, <laughs> I, 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 every time I do Josie's funk, I always do the hitch. And some people do the point. Uh, it's a step sheet thing. Uh, but I always do a hitch. And so in my dance, it's a hitch. <laughs> Uh, triple step, triple step. Uh, this turn is, uh, because I love doing, this turn was reminiscent of, uh, Baby Tonight. And, uh, I just, I just really like the Baby Tonight dance. It was the first dance that I saw that I really, really liked the song, even before when I, the, I saw the line dance. And so, 
uh, when I saw the line dance and everybody that was demoing it in every single video online, everybody looked so sad or like mad or something or, you know, like they were just doing it very, very like uh, staccato and like just, I don't know, they just looked like they were really, really bored and it bothered me because it's such a fun song, it's such an uplifting song. Uh, but this turn, it's a prep turn into a, uh, it goes half turn on one step and then another half turn on the other step. Uh, and what it launches you into uh, is my favorite move in the dance because it's so freaking weird. Uh, and you, you probably weren't able to notice what it was in my video, but it's uh, three runs and it's in place. Uh, so it goes right, left, right, uh, and it, it flows in when you're doing the turn. So it's, uh, what is it, right shoulder, and then you're turning over your, sh your shoulder, and then you're running uh, over the same like shoulder, and then you stop, because uh, you, you do a half turn, and then you half turn the other way, the opposite way over the opposite shoulder, and then that's, that starts your next wall, and it goes, so it goes right, left, right, and then left, right, left. Uh, that run, uh, that run, run, run is an on ah move, and I remember the first time I ever learned on ah it was at the ranch, and Carrie was on stage, and she's teaching this dance, and she goes, uh, skate, skate, run, 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 and I was like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, run, 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 is this in the step sheet as run, 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 and yes, yes it is. Uh, it was just the most hilarious thing to me because it just did not even sound like it would be like an actual line dance move uh, because it, you know, like I'm just so used to it being like, oh, step, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, or something like that, uh, and it, it was, it's actually in the step sheet as run, run, run. Uh, so it goes run, run, run into run, run, run. Uh, and the other reason why I put that in the dance uh, was because uh, it's the song is red, and so it goes red, 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 and I couldn't hit all of them obviously because the whole song isn't like that. And it would be weird, but I definitely wanted to hit like the, this one point, and it goes. So, so my original thought was run, 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 and it goes red, 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 you know, like, and it didn't work out perfectly like that. But then what ended up happening as like a weird miracle. Uh, the next move is uh, triple side, uh, and then rock, and then triple side, and then rock, and then triple step forward, and then turn, and then triple step forward, and then turn, and literally every single one of those triple steps uh, actually end up syncing up with the with all those parts, which was like the greatest thing to me. Um, and so uh, the very last move is a five, six, seven, eight, and uh, one of my favorite dances is ten rounds. And there's this moment where uh, everybody does, it goes, and it, it does the whole end 10 rounds or whatever that end part is, and it goes five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and everybody yells that thing out, but it's not on a five, six, seven, eight count, it's on a one, two, three, four count. But one, two, three, four doesn't sound cool, so everybody's like five, six, seven, eight. And uh, I always thought it was cool, like, when people yell things out or people do claps and the reason why is because it makes you feel like you're on beat with everybody. Uh, the reason why there are four walk forwards, so that's why it's a five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then the reason why there are four walk forwards, I call it the five, six, seven, eight confident girl walk and there was this, I'm not going to be able to demo it but I think you can picture this. The end of the dance, it's a jump, 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 uh, people always do that whole thing. And uh, there was this one girl that, and this was the first time I ever saw it, so if you've been doing this for years, good, good on you, uh, but this is the very first time I ever saw it. And instead of doing jump, 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 like everybody literally does, uh, there was this one girl who just went and like she was just, she just did like four walk forwards into like the stomp and it was just the craziest mind blowing thing to me. Uh, how simple it was and how like cool she made it look and so ever since then I've always been looking for it uh, whenever people do outlaw and uh, now everybody kind of does it as like a lazy thing like they don't want to jump so they're just like uh. but I mean like just the essence of what that was and how she did it was just really really cool uh, so that's how it ends uh, and then it, uh, and then it goes back uh, I'm so glad I didn't have to put tags or restarts in th the thing. I really didn't want to do that. Uh, I thought I was going to have to, and I ended up not. 
uh, but a weird, uh, something that was kind of awkward was fi fi realizing that it was a 64 count dance. Uh, I just kind of kept creating. Uh, I started with like the beginning of the song, and then I just kept making up eight counts until I got to the chorus, because I knew that that's when it would restart. Uh, and then, you know, like, the chorus would happen, and then, you know, it would restart again. Uh, and it ends up being a 64 count dance. I mean, I guess you could do a 32 and then, uh, do, and, the, and then have another 32 and 32, 32, uh, I don't know. Uh, but I really, I really, really love it, and I hope you guys do too. And I'm going to create a teach-through video as soon as I send my friend Donna a step sheet. Uh, hopefully she can realize what it is by this video and by my demo through. Uh, if you do watch my demo through, uh, there was a one. There was one point in uh, the third on the third wall when I'm doing the turn, uh, and it's it's probably the most complicated part of the dance. It's it's kind of weird, uh, but uh, there was one point when I'm doing the turn, and I end up doing it wrong, and that's like the the point that Jeremy. Uh, the person that I was doing it with does it right, and uh, it was kind of like it, it. That's like the uh, it, that's like the one point in the entire thing I think that I end up doing something wrong. So just don't follow me right there. Uh, I had that brain explosion moment where you're just doing a dance and then all of a sudden you just kind of stop and then you're like, where am I? Uh, it was it was pretty epic that I got to do it at a dance club. And, and demo it, that, like, that's not, that's, like, unheard of, uh, for somebody, like, Greg was super cool with me, and he allowed me to do that, which was really, really nice, uh, and Jeremy, uh, thank you for dancing this with me and learning it, and I hope this becomes a thing, uh, because I really like this dance, and we don't play Taylor Swift at all, and I think, I would like to think that my dance captured the essence of the song uh, in being like fun and being like different <laughs> and being being red. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys like this dance and I hope this becomes a thing. And if it does become a thing, just remember that you know me. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later.